Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the USC Trojans. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Trojans. The Fighting Irish seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Notre Dame has one of their best players lining up in their backfield. Lee, expect a huge game from him running the football and maybe even catching a few passes. He's a tremendous athlete, and they will use him as much as they can. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are going to win this game. USC has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 24 fields it in the end zone. Kickoff return 24 yards. Number 24 on the return. Today we get to watch a spectacular athlete at running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, Defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game today. That makes two of us thin. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Notre Dame going with the power eye. And he's tackled. Number 14 on the run. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 47. Make the stop. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Number 26 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hand. Back to pass. Looking. And he's going to come up with a sack. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding. On the offense. The Philippines decline, fourth down. This one away. Number 13 boots it way up there. Number 44 fields it for 17. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The Trojans come out of the power eye. Here's the give. Brought down. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Second and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. Inside handoff. Gets past the tackler. And down he goes. 
He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kurt. Heck, I could run through those holes. They'll bring him down. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. First and 10. Ball on their own 47. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled. Zero yards on that play. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47. Makes a move. Brought down at the 49. The running back gets two on the carry. Third and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back, throws it to the outside, has it to the senior. It's first and 10, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. USC lines up in the bone. They'll give it off here. He juked him out of his shoes. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 38. The Trojans line up in the power eye formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and seven to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. No one opens, so he's going to run. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and ten. And this is the tenth play of the drive. drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. But if they don't guess right pretty soon, they're never going to stop these guys. Nickel defense. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Picked off in the end zone. How about that defensive play? What I liked here was the way the defense reacted as soon as the ball was thrown. It allowed them to come up with the interception. But I did like the decision by the quarterback. He's a smart kid. He knows better than to throw a pass like that. They'll set up shot at the 20. Inside give, a little juke, tackle, a pickup of four on the play. Gain of four on the play. It's second down and six to go, ball on the 24. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Spins up field, brought down. Couldn't get anything out of that. With the carry, no gain on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 24-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Nice play fake. Looks. Down the middle. Batted ball. 
Well, the defense did tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. They line up to punt this one away. Number 13 gets it off. Number 44 signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 32. USC going with the wishbone here. On the ground with the tailback. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's second down now. 14 to go. Ball on their own 28. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Back to pass. Across the middle. And it's incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. The defense lines up with 6 DB. Steps up, looking, waits till the last moment. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. The Trojans line up the punt. Number 13 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 31 takes it to 36. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 44. Notre Dame lines up in the bone. Number 40 wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. They get it out there on the top. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Brought down in the open field. The running back gets two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 46. On the ground with the tailback. He might have a chance. And he's taken down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. They hand it off. He jukes it. And they make the stop. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Here's the option left. Pitches back. Breaks one. They'll drop him for a loss. This kid's a real physical corner. He has no reservations about coming up and run support and put the lick on a ball carry. I love that. Yeah. 
They'll run the option. He might have a chance. Ball's loose. It's picked up. And he's hit hard. At the nine. Coach, what went wrong there for the offense? Poor execution. They got to spend more time in the option in practice before they bring it into the game. Yard line. First and ten. Up the middle. Brought down. That'll be a gain of ten, and he's showing why he's more than just a blocker. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Second down and short. Ball on the 19. Took it and plowed for the first down. He was just following his box, and hey, they're moving the sticks. First and ten, ball on the 22 yard line. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. He jukes. And he's taken down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Three yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. USC lines up in the power eye set. Inside handoff. Jed's a tackler. And they make the stop. Four yard gain by the back. Gain of four. We've got third and three here. This is the sixth play of this drive. They come out of the ball here. On the ground, left side. Takes off a tackle. And he's tackled. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. The Trojans come out of the power eye. Uh, oh, handoff. He juked him out of his shoes. They'll bring him down. He picks up a yard on the play. Number 41 on the carry. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. And they make the stop. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. USC lines up in the bone. On the ground with the tailback. The coach can't like this. Brought down. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six. This is the tenth play of this drive. The Trojans line up in the power eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Gain of two. 
two on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Number 12 is in the zone and looking to make a play. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's hit and got away. He keeps it. And they make the stop. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. <laughs> Sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. Good defensive call there. Look for a run right up the gut. A little misdirection. And he's tackled, and the counter is good enough for the first. Yeah, the offensive line did a good job of selling that play on that one. And the halfback was aware of that first down line and got the conversion. First and 10, and this is the 13th play of this drive. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. They'll throw on first down. Throws back across the field. It's tipped. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. USC comes out in a double wing. Broke away from one, and they got him for a loss. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. Third and ten. This is the 15th play of this drive. Back to pass. Across the middle. Got it to him on the run. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Play fake, throws this one out to the right. Batted ball. The ball was tipped away, and that saved a touchdown. The coach has got to love this kid. His instincts are superb, and he's always around the football. The Trojans come out in a double wing, and he's stopped behind the line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's power football time, folks. And he's taken down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Right there, ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 24 fields it at the two. It's on the ground. Number 41 with a recovery. Right. 
They'll set up shot at the 17. They come out in a double wing. Finn moves. They'll drop him for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. And he's going to lose yards on this one. USC takes a timeout. Third and long. Ball on the nine. They'll line up in a double wing set. Good move. And he's hit hard. USC calls a timeout. Punt this one away. Number 13 gets it off. Number 44 feels it at the 50. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 45. They'll line up in the power eye. Play action. He lobs it out to the right. Complete. And they make the stop. About a five-yard pickup on the old play action pass. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 40. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Steps up in the pocket. He passes it. Incomplete. A little too high for his receiver. When you throw the football into the end zone, you've got to be extremely accurate. You don't have any room for air. And they're ready to pump this one away. Number 13 boots it way up there. Number 42 calls for the fair catch. And they'll down it at the eight. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the eight-yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six, ball on their own 12. Drops back to pass. Somehow gets the ball away. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Pull back straight ahead. He's hit and got away. And he's hit hard. USC takes a timeout. one away. He gets it off. 
Number 31 fields it to 42. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, USC 3, Notre Dame nothing. Notre Dame will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 44 fields it at the two. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 21-yard line. He drops back. Short goal. The senior makes the catch. And we got an injured player on the field. Break. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 24. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Here's the give. They'll bring him down. Just about three yards there. On the carry. Three yard gain on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 27 yard line. Back to pass. Wants to throw a screen. It falls incomplete. The halfback couldn't hang on after that hit. Yo, I think he got his cage a little rattle in that one. Fourth and four. Ball on the 27-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 31 takes it to 20. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They lost too much yardage that time. What do you think, Coach? I think you can't blame the back on that one. I don't care how good an athlete you are, you're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without some block. Number 40 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Drop back to pass. He gets the pass away. The ball is tipped. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing-ending ones. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 17. They'll bring in their dime pack. He drops back. He's looking. They'll make the sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass to the head. Let him get behind the rest of that. Take off behind his blockers for six. They come out in a punt formation. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 44 takes it to 47. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right. 
right side of the 50 as they start this drive. USC going with the wishbone here. And he's tackled. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here's the give. And down he goes. The fullback powers ahead for a gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 21. They line up in the wishbone. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Nice play fake. Let's it go. And it's caught. Brought down. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 11. Back to pass. He steps up, looks to the end zone. The ball is tipped, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. On the 11, going in. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He throws it complete. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. They lose four there. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it is good. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Kicks it off. Number 31 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you made on. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Notre Dame lines up in the double wing. They'll give it off here. And they got him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 21. Notre Dame lines up in the bone. On the ground with the tailback. And the ball hawking safety scoops it up. Touchdown, USC. And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on their own, but when you add to the fact that the result can point to the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. And 
and he hits the PAT. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, USC 13, Notre Dame nothing. one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback so the offense comes out after their last drive had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble they'll set up shot at the 20-yard line Shake and bake move. He's on the run. And he's tackled. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Here's an opening. They'll bring him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. A move. And they make the stop. They gain five yards there. Five yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 46. On the ground with the tailback. He broke his ankles. That's a three yard pickup. Three-yard gain on the play. Third and two, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Notre Dame lines up in the power eye set. Power eye set. Inside handoff. And he's tackled to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Notre Dame lining up the punt. Number 13 boots it way up there. Number four signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Tackle. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Fullback straight ahead. They'll bring him down. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Third and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. Number 12 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Looking. He wants it all going long. And got him! What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. 
What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. A spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. tackled he's going to come out it looks like he was hurt on that last play yeah i don't think it's too serious though guys he's a tough athlete i think we'll see him back in this game and we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by old spice red zone when performance matters the most and that'll bring this quarter to an end Folks, we've played three, and our score is USC 13, Notre Dame nothing. Second and seven coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. The option left. He has some room. Touchdown, USC. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. USC to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number 31 fields it in the end zone. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Three-yard pickup. Three-yard game on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Notre Dame going with the power eye. And they hit him in the backfield. It's third down and eight to go. Ball number 22. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. He's going long. Intercepted. And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. They'll start this drive at the 37. 37 yard line. Handoff brought down. That'll be a gain of three yards. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on their own 40. The Trojans line up in the power eye formation. 
They'll give it off here. A little juke. Got some open field. At the point. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Nice call. Nice blocking. And an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those slants pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his good playability was because the offensive linemen executed their assignments to perfection. the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. USC ready to kick this one off. Number 31 and number 24 set to return. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. Number 31 fields it in the end zone. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. Down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 19 yard line. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. On the ground with a tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Third and 11. Ball on their own 17. Nickel defense. He drops back. Going deep. And that one's fallen incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The Irish line up the punt. Number 13 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 44 fields it for 37. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone, and I don't see that happening again. They'll take over at the 43. Inside give. He jukes it. And he's tackled. Gain of nine. Nine yard gain on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 48. USC lines up in the power eye set. And off to the fullback. Sheds that one. Tackle. And nice running by the fullback. No question. What impresses me is the blocking up front. Just man to man. They're able to create a lane there and get the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The defense needs to be mistake-free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. They'll go with the fullback. They'll bring him down. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Number 41 with the carry. Three-yard gain on the play. 
It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 40. He lobs it out to the left side. Recovered by the offense. Are they lucky or what? The quarterback very fortunate that one of his guys recovered the football. Yeah, he's got to be more careful out there. Either tuck that thing away or just get down before contact. I don't care what he does. Just don't fumble. That's all. Do whatever you have to do to protect that football. Drops back to pass. Here he goes. And he's tackled. They're going to try to convert this one. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. He's stiff arm. He's knocked out of bounds. have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. So their last Red Zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Over the middle and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. They're lining up in the 5-2. Option to the right. A lateral. There's a missed tackle. Here's an opening. Touchdown, USC. That gives him two rushing scores on the day. And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Number 24 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. They hand it off. And down he goes. They get five yards on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll line up in the wishbone. He drops back. And now he's got room to run. Loses the football. Brought down. And the offense came up with a ball somehow. The quarterback was very fortunate right there. You can bet he holds on to the ball with both hands next time he gets it. First and ten. Ball on their own 33. Notre Dame lines up in the bone. Another run. He jukes. And he's taken down. That's a three-yard pickup. Three 
Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 36. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. A gain of six. Third down in the yard. Ball on their own 42. It's a full house backfield. On the ground with the tailback. Got some open field. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. He was able to make it all the way in for the score. Well, here, once he got the handoff, his quick feet and excellent vision took over. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is USC 34, Notre Dame 7. Onside kick formation. With the onside kick. They'll start this drive at the 41. They'll line up in the power eye. He might have a chance. Tackle. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. They'll bring him down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. First and ten. Ball in the 29. USC going with the wishbone here. He'll lateral it. And he's tackled. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 24. on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Third and eight. This is the fifth play of this drive. And that's the end of the ball game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. USC played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, USC 34, Notre Dame 7. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.